This is two mana for an instant, right? Correct. It has four options. Count them. Four dots. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the creatures you control get 1-1 one, one yeah. in reach. This card is pure value. It is. It's awesome. But right now, we got girl-on-girl -girl action here. Monastery Swiss Spear is going head-to-head -head here. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I saw Monastery... I, I think Monastery Swiss... Because I, play, I played against this deck that Chance has. I can't remember if he had Swiss Spears in there or not. That card is making Ooh. plays in all formats. I wonder if he dashed. So, Mardu Scout, he's a 3-3. Three, three, four damage coming in. And he did dash. He did dash. I like the dash mechanic. Yeah, me too. I think dash is cool. So, uh, Sean Morris. This is basically right now a mirror match. Mono red versus mono red. We. All right, so uh, dragon fodder. Okay, so we are getting some 1-1 one, one tokens. Two of them, to be precise. Yeah, and he's using that, that uh, pre-release promo art one, I believe. Yeah, he is. All right, so uh, and uh, that Monastery Swiss Spear is going to enjoy plus one toughness uh, due to the prowess, which will bring Chance down to 17. And power. Yeah. That's the big part. Yeah, she becomes a 2-3 at that point. You know, there's a lot of good talk. I really kept an eye on that card because I was really, you know, considering playing her in Legacy Red, Legacy yeah. Burn, and I just, what are you going to drop at that point? It's just, you know, you pretty much you either drop... Uh, the, the, the guide, but you even don't then, drop you don't guide, want to drop man. Guide. I mean, well, that's just it, that's the slot. Yeah. So uh, a non dashed Mardu Scout on uh, Chance Wardlow's side. So he looks like he's he's. I hope he's not looking for a block right here, because uh, if you're gonna play red, you don't care about your life. You want to hit them harder than they can hit you. That's correct. I mean, three one. Another fodder. I mean, it's like it's like a lightning bolt on legs, on wheels. You know? Yeah, it's what it is. Unfortunately, it's a lightning bolt. It can also be blocked, bile blighted. Yeah, but it's reusable. Yeah. So the trade-off. Well, one of the cards that chances uh, really gets a lot of mileage off in his deck is Impact Tremors. Whenever uh, a creature enters the field, he does one damage. So you kind of oh, see yeah. the, the the trade back and forth. I don't even of, think about dash with that. All out. I think about is yeah. tokens. Yeah. So it looks like some blocks on the board. Uh, gonna lose. It's, Chance is going to take one damage in the process. Hey, Chance, what's your life total at, bud? 16. Okay, just making oh, sure. 16, Rob. 16, motherfucker. <laughs> so, uh, Marty Scout uh, is off the board as soon as he came in, pretty much. You know, usually when Another I watch, Marty Scout, though. When I watch Red on Red a lot of times, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm going to get brain aids. But these two Red decks, I actually enjoy watching the interactions between. Because they're, they're completely different. Hopefully, well, I say right now, we haven't seen... Li we literally have not seen any tokens uh, from Chance's side. We don't even see a planes on his side. I mean, but Chance, he's going to be oh, utilizing trying to, Dash. Chance trying to show his hand off oh, over yo, here a little bit. <laughs> so, right. Chance has... Let me just yell this across the... Uh, it looks like Chance has got M. Rakul in his hand, and I think that card is not in standard, <laughs> so we're going to have to no, get him. No, it's okay. He's going to get him out because he's Quicksilver M. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, we've now turned this into a really shitty EDH game <laughs> where M. Rakul is suddenly unbanned. The kitchen table player with most of the money. All right. So, uh, Foundry Street, Denzian in on Sean's side. That card, uh, you talk about value in this kind of a deck. We'll pull it up really quick. Uh... Yeah, that card does work. Yeah, so you can see how he's going to be able to get explosive damage by playing a card like Hordling Outburst. Yeah. Three red creatures red come in. Token. Yeah. Like, yep. Damn. Yeah. Now, his. I've talked to Sean about this. Okay, so we got. Hold on, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, that Swiss Beer does have a prowess trigger on it. And it looks like Sean's going to use his tokens. Is he just going to throw one or think he'll throw the whole team? Because he does have a three toughness. Oh, we've got a, we con got a convo. Stoke the flames. Stoke the flames. Stoke. Take that, Ross Merriam. The flames. So, good call right there. Sean uh, taking advantage of the way the magic works. He goes, yeah, you know what? I'll block, <laughs> I'll block your dude, and then I'll use the guy that blocked that would have died from blocking, tap him, and then sacrifice him off to the Stoke the Flames. Basically, I just imagine Sean's got a flamethrower that he's stuffing goblins into fuel the fire. <laughs> Sean, at the last FNM we played against each other, double stoked my two four four dragon tokens. And wild slash comes in, in comes in, and so Sean playing that instant on his turn to again enjoy the prowess benefits for his own monastery swift spirit. And let's see, coming for two, 
and able trade using that uh, Mardu Scouts 3 1 uh, power toughness to kill the Monastery Swiss Spear. See, now this is tight because I actually feel like there's just an army going against an army yeah. and things are dying. I think it's like a dirty goblin gang. It is. You there, know? There's genocide happening. I'd call this deck dirty goblin warfare right now. <laughs> If we had goblin grenade that had like you know dirty goblin terrorist attacks, I don't even know. It's like tunnel snakes, but with goblins. Yeah, and they're like they're fighting in the mountains right now because they're both playing red land. So it's just a just a disgusting. Man, you Lord of the, the Rings smell because it's not cold out there. No, there's a festering dead goblin. Well, so far it's just been a lot of sword on you know axe spear action <laughs> kind of stuff, and then Sean just blew up. A yeah, and then we got this Foundry Street Denizen guy who's just beating him with a lead pipe. Yeah, speaking of Foundry Street Denizen, and so uh, hordling outburst. Uh, Popping out, that's going to give Foundry Street Denzian three, or uh, yeah, three more power. So he only gets front end. He doesn't get a bigger booty for it. Uh, He's like a pile driver, you know. Man, I want to make a really bad He's job like about social injustice right <laughs> He's now. A really riding. bad pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's not <laughs> not quite on the same tier as uh, old Goblin Pile Driver. Yeah, Pro Blue, eat me fish. Man, Pro Blue, they need more Goblin Pile Drivers in their world, man. <laughs> yeah, we should. That's what I'm saying. Man, after Zendikar, we should go back to Lorwyn. Well, that was supposed to be on the docket before Zendikar, as Lorwyn was supposed to be like next up, but it's just not as, as popular as, as Ravnica the... or Zendikar. Now, I remember reading something. Were they Did they nix Annihilator in the re... Oh, I don't know. I, don't I know. saw somebody mentioning something about Annihilator, and I can't remember. So, hold on one second. I... There's just tokens flying, dude. Wait, why is there a dice on that goblin? Is that guy? Is that dice supposed to represent That's more than multi, more than one goblin? Okay, I believe so. Okay, so one goblin's gonna step in the way of that Foundry Street Denzi, and so again, he doesn't get bigger on the back end. He's just gonna have one toughness, no matter how many times you pump him up. So he is four. Uh, Sean has all of his mana tap, but he does have technically six convoke mana sources if he so desires to tap. Oh, no, no, he can't. No, he's he's three. Yeah, he has three. So, Stoke the Flame, of course, being a four-drop spell, he's not going to have enough to Stoke. Let's see what Sean is contemplating here. I don't think it runs like Titan Strength, because Titan Strength would be the only other last-minute boss I spell. Have, yeah, I have no idea what this deck has. I've never seen it. I've never seen him play it. Yo, does Chance never need go more it. Goblin Tokens? Because I think, Dude, I, I can't I tell. I have, like, a hundred. He has one out right now? Okay. So aren't there goblin tokens literally an inch away from his hand? I see them right there. Oh, I see on them the too. Table. Let's see. If yeah, but. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right. Damn. Yeah. All right. So goblin route master himself, the uh, the big gang leader. Um, for those of you living under a rock in the last year, goblin route master also, brings out a goblin token. More salt moments for the stream. The first game I played against Sean, he double stoked me the second game. First nice. game, three Rabble Masters back to back. Yeah, that's good. I'm sure he said something clever like Rabble Rabble. <laughs> All right, so four, da four damage coming rabble. in. Uh, chance will be down to seven. I think I missed the damage somewhere. I think that's a seven. I can see that from up here in my ivory tower. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like he scooped. Okay, he did scoop. Okay. All right, so Sean will take a pretty convincing game one. Well, when King Daddy of Goblin Mountain comes out to silence the non-believers. Yeah, the riots uh, went went wild. Rest in peace, the uh, Little Caesar's Pizza. You know, these goblins from this block just don't look like goblins to me. I don't like them. They look like misfigured Kithkin. You, you know, know I don't like... I, I like the goblins from cons because they're like they're militarized, like, you know. They're like hills have eyes, Kithkin, you know. Yeah, but the 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 goblins that I don't like are the new ones that are like furry. Yeah, like like this Marty Scout. That's what I'm talking well, about. Well, the Marty Scout looks fine. He looks like a okay, but he doesn't look like a goblin. The goblins I don't I don't like are the the dragons of Tarkir goblin tokens that are. I wonder if I, I don't Dude, know. If what I can was that get. movie? That really bad horror movie, Eric? What, Critters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, that's what they are. Is, that, is that the movie that uh, that um, Raphael goes to see in the Ninja Turtles movie? Maybe. I don't know, Aaron. Do you know? Critters. Raphael goes to see the Ninja Turtle movie. Uh, I can't remember Ninja Turtles very well. Okay, well. Aaron is our resident Casey Jones look like, <laughs> so it works out. He never looked at another man before. Yeah. Oh, I get. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have that movie. Chat. 
chat, please. <laughs> Real quick, I'll give a shout out to chat right now. Mind Sway, Red CEO, Night Zane, Doritos Master Race. Dude, that movie's uh, awesome. Hagari, Hagari, uh, Hagari, I don't know, man. Shout outs. Shout outs to Brendan. Shout outs to Chad behind uh, that's me. Brayden. Brayden. Brennan is from Superbad. I, all, that's I can, Brennan. all I can hear is 11Q11QQ1. Shout outs to Cinnabite. Oh, See you yeah. up there, Deathcraft41. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight on this uh, wonderful Friday Thanks night. Thanks for telling us how to pronounce magic cards. We yeah. really know. Yeah, I dig it. Um, but uh, yeah, we are broadcasting from Oak Grove, Missouri. Here in the Midwest. And there goes the viewers. <laughs> and there goes the viewers. Like, what? They're this like, isn't oh, West this is Coast? tumbleweed magic? What kind of bull? Man. I thought we were watching Civilized this magic. This isn't. I don't have Sharpies. I if, have Expos down there. If this isn't the best magic, live magic gathering stream you've seen outside of, yeah. outside of Star City, then I'll eat my pants on stream. All my pants. Somebody please I'll eat Chad, make this happen. I'll eat Chad's shoes on stream. You man. can't. They're indestructible artifacts, man. Well, man, whatever. What? Yeah, I don't know. We don't get paid enough what? for that. Oh, cards. I thought you said cars. Like, I was like, how is this man eating cars? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That makes me mad. I saw that picture of him. Like, he poured him in sriracha sauce or whatever. And he ate a bunch of those dragons. I don't know. I was kind of upset about that. I probably didn't just breathe fire. He probably shit fire, too. I don't know. That's frustrating to we me. Don't, we, don't have, we don't have decks. Yeah. What? Player one name. Where is the other name? It seems to me that there's been an oversight. <laughs> I have messed up. Oh, player what? Player two name. Oh, uh, it's up here in the corner. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, so does that do different things based on the cam? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't or like on the sorry on the the scenes. Do the uh, sources do yeah. different things based on the scenes? Uh, I copied the scene because I was lazy. No, I was just okay. So it yeah, does. I was just curious. Yeah, it does do different stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I wish we screen. had the this little scoreboard off the side that I could just update and I oh, have to like yeah. switch boxes. So chance on the play? Oh, we see a plane this time. Dude, so it'll be tight. If you played in Rackle. Yeah, that. Also, if we had like those smart screens, so we could just flip cards. Oh yeah. Yeah. Also, that's way too over. If you guys want to donate money to us, we're trying to buy a shop helicopter. We're trying to buy a card screen <laughs> flicker. <laughs> well, I want a helicopter first. Okay. Well, what uh, if we suspend it from the helicopter? Okay. And yeah, we'll we fly it around. Stream from the stream it? from the air. That'd be tight. Yeah. So we have a planes on Chance's side. Uh, evidence that he does in fact play a red white deck. Oh, what's coming down? Impact tremors. Yo. Is that impact tremors? Yeah, that is impact tremors. Hold on to your butts. Tremors is a terrible fucking movie, by the way. Dude, I own all four. <laughs> Wait, you don't like Tremors? No, it scared the shit out of me as a child. I own all four, man. Dude, I was scared to. I was. I was scared to go outside as a kid because I'm like, there's gonna something's gonna Dude, eat me. Okay, see, lightning I had, berserker. I can't make fun of you because I had an irrational fear of like showering after I watched Jaws as a kid. That's weird. It is. I don't know why. Like, like I manholes. Had... I would avoid manholes. Dude, I thought okay, my house had manholes next to it, and I was like, that's tight. The Ninja Turtles live under me. Okay, so you had a way better mindset about movies than I did. Also, I watched War of the Worlds as a kid. I was terrified. I had nightmares. We had Wild Slash. I I was gonna die. We had Wild Slash come in and a Lightning Berserker get dashed. So I think there's yeah, chance is down to seven. Chance, are you at sixteen? Yes. Okay, I'm not really sure where that extra damage too. went. I don't know where that other damage came in. Dude, when you got decks like this. Oh, but we got trim. Okay, so happens. here's the synergy here. So impact trimmers with the token generators equals damage on top of whatever the tokens are gonna do. Uh, so Sean actually is down to eighteen. Because when those two goblins came in, they did one damage to each. And now we've got a uh, Foundry Street and Lightning Berserker. Uh, right here. All right, so Seeker, Chance thinking about turning goblins sideways. One goblin, and Sean will take the damage. We are tied 16-16 now. So this is uh, th these decks don't take a long time to start uh, getting some action in. Man, we started talking about horror movies. Our viewers dipped. <laughs> okay, well that just means those people don't need to be watching our stream because they bump, suck. Bump. Yeah, I'll call them out. All right, here comes Lightning Berserker. Oh, okay, Convoke, and he is not wasting any time. He annihilated that Seeker of the Way because that Seeker of the Way can really get out of hand. And when you're playing an aggro deck like this, if you can get any sort of life link, I mean, just a little bit of life link sprinkled in there, it can because you. 
You play an aggro decks like this, you gotta hit for 20. You can't hit for 21, you can't hit for 19, you gotta